Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Olga is here. For those of you who haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell as well to get the latest notifications about the videos I post out there for you guys. And I post three times per week. I upload three videos per week. There is no set schedule, just whatever days they happen to be in. This is a follow-up video to unboxing my very first wig video that I had done a little over a month ago. I'm going to link that video down here so you can see. And basically in that video I told you that I would be going to my hairstylist and she would be adjusting the wig because it has the lace front and there was a big flap of lace that needed to be cut closer to the hairline to match my natural hairline. So that's what we did today. We also played with this wig, we combed it and this is a nice quality wig because the part right here it can be changed to another area like if I want to part it on this side or the other I can do that it seems like and also I can wear it in a ponytail and I can braid it and do all of those things she had also trimmed a little bit of the split ends um, in the wig believe it or not it had some split ends isn't that funny uh, that's what the work that she did for me for this wig so this is what it looks like no I was not planning to go at this platinum blonde when I was ordering it online I wanted it to be a bit darker but I think I don't know what happened basically sometimes when we look at pictures online and when we perceive the information we see something else entirely and now when you get it it's something else entirely so basically it's really really light and I look like Daenerys Targaryen and I love it so I did very minimal makeup because I did not want to have these huge eyeshadows on or anything like that this was just to show you guys what the wig looks like and give you a little bit of the info how you can uh, contour around the hairline of your wig so if you have just gotten a wig or if you're like me and you just received your wig and you don't know what to do with it I would suggest not trimming it on your own especially if you spent a substantial amount of money you want to go to a hair styling salon and have a professional trim that for you because these hairs are individually tightened there and you don't want to be accidentally coming very close to the hairs and snipping something off and then regretting wasting you know some hairs or spoiling your wig because once you cut something you cannot reattach it right so it's better to take it slow yes she did leave me quite a rim here but we figured that if I want it closer, once I get more comfortable wearing this wig, we're going to trim it even closer. But for right now, what I told her I want to do is I would be basically blending my hairline and blending this into my skin, basically using a Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And this is what you can use it for as well. For example, if you have a deeper skin tone, you could um, go into these colors right here and match this front lace perfectly to your own skin tone. I love the Shade and Light palette for its versatility. You can use it as a contouring palette. You can use it as transitioning shades for your eyeshadows or even do your eyeshadow work with it. And you can also use it to contour around the edges of your wig to make it look seamless. I absolutely loved that. The other thing that I want to share with you guys, this is a natural um, hair wig, but I do appreciate that as some, you know, some, some many heads had donated their hairs, but um, something else to keep in mind, whenever you go to like a hairstyling salon and thinking to go uh, shorter with your hair, if your hair is not processed, you can actually donate your hair uh, to a good cause, you know, like um, there could be uh, people who need wigs because of the medical condition and you can donate to a good cause. A few years back when I went to Charlene to cut my hair, I used to have long brown hair 
and it was not processed, meaning I did not have any um, hair coloring done and I did not have any perms done to my hair. And Charlene looked at it and she says, well, do you want to donate your hair? And uh, she explained that they would be sending the hair off to make wigs for kids with cancer. And I'm like, by all means. So you guys, when you go and have the haircuts done, I think it's always a good idea to donate your hair if it's not processed. It's a beautiful cause, you know, somebody might love to have a head full of hair. I mean, I know we wear wigs for fun, but there is also a good cause to donate your hair for. So with all of that said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you all next week with more videos. How cool is that? I love you. Bye.